better things to talk about. Let me go. I'm over here about what you call it. I'm a zoo walk here. What you got going? You good? Around what time? You gonna be better than I am? Yeah? Oh, Alright, shit. The man over there. The chat, what are we watching right now? Well. Oh, yeah, for sure. But you see, I can look in your eyes and tell you have a big car, big heart. Say you crying. And shit like that. All right. Chat. <laughs> tell me when he saw a while now. We'll go back to it again. Anyway, uh, he dropped some shit. What was my point about this Meek shit? Um, yeah, Meek just need a bigger single. You know, I think it's, it's really good that he used Baby and Dirk. You know what I mean? Again... I think he put his album three years back. He'd been trying to get off MMG. Ross ain't letting him out. Listen, hey, hey, let me let me show you the levels to this. Meek Mill only shows off his chains and rollies. All Rick Ross keeps showing off his properties. Just remember that, okay? There's no rapper who makes more money than their boss. That's a fact. Love Lil Baby. He don't make more money than P. Love Migos, they don't make more money than P. Love Yachty, they don't make more money than P. The boss makes the money. The nigga with the chains entertain y'all. I'm always telling y'all that. That's a fact. Remember I told y'all that, okay? You got the niggas who just dangle the chains and the nigga who really get the real bread. I ain't see, I ain't see Ron show off no jewelry in a minute. That nigga keeps showing off his states. Just remember I told y'all that. Y'all impressed by the rappers. Somebody, I forgot who said this. They say, yo, if Shaq got paid $30 million, imagine what the fuck his boss got paid. The nigga who signed the checks for all the Lakers, what do you think he get paid? If they could give LeBron $300 million, what do you think the nigga who gave him $300 million makes? Just think about that. Y'all follow a little baby. I follow P from QC. He run that label. City Girls, Migos, Baby, Lakia, got all of them. What do you think he making? I like that game. Okay, all right, anyway, so Kodak dropped an EP. I, I don't know if it's on, is it on streaming services? Kodak Black. Yo, what's up with my... my Every time I type a K, it goes to the G. Kodak. Why is there 2K? Oh, my God. Chat. Okay, here's Kodak Black. Um, I think his new project is only available on uh, my mixtapes. Uh, I don't know if we could get a link to that, but I'll try. Uh, let's listen to, is the new Tekka hot? Cause y'all let me know, is the new little Tekka hot? I am gonna, I am gonna do this. Let me just get, get some shit off my chest real quick. <clears throat> Chat, I'm not about to listen to this bullshit, I don't know. I listen to my old time, in my own time. By the way, I do like some of the little Texas music. I have a bet, I have a standing bet of $1,000 with another creator that he doesn't sell over 40000 I might lose that just because <laughs> Rap Caviar show that nigga hell of love, so. Hey, these artists be saying they hot, they're not hot. Like, Rap Caviar and these things drive they like performance. Like, let's be very clear, okay? Look, look at this. 
Let me just show you this. Repeat. 60 million, never left, 76 million. By the way, they're both on the Billboard charts. Let's, let me just show y'all. Rap. Yo, chat. you get to a point in your life where the glitz and glamour don't impress you. The shit behind the scenes does. Wait, what the fuck? I can't get a pee in? Okay, rap caviar. Look. I'll show you both songs on here. By the way, look, this fucking playlist is digested by 14 million. The one we bought to like, you know, be able to choose from for a month, we get it for, it's like 130,000. This is 14 million. Just to let you know. This is why this is the most powerful playlist in the whole music. Lil Tech is number six for repeat gun, gunna, right? Just keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down. And on the 20th spot, has never left. Bro, the, nigga, rap caviar makes these artists career. I'm going to keep it on with y'all. Anyway, um, let's keep it going, though. I should stop saying that because I don't want to Spotify music team be like, yo, Ack is telling our secrets. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, Let's keep it going, though. Chat. This is what I want to get on my chest. Go listen to Tekka. Go listen to whoever you want. Um, I can't really listen to the... um. Kodak at the moment, just because it's on my mixtapes. Let me see what y'all spamming. Never, nah, never left this hard. Never left this hard. Somebody says you just left the 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 the, the Donna listening party. What happened? Hey, I do want to I do want to say this. Tell me if Kodak is is tweaking or anything like that. I'll go back, but. Let's go to YouTube. Du, du. Oh, oh, I'm going to do a video tomorrow too. Chat, I keep telling y'all, man, when y'all hear these rappers talking about their bosses, ignore what they saying and figure out who their real boss is. Okay? Remember I told you, Rick Ross trying to get off MMG. He was mad at, M he was mad at Ross because Ross showed up to a party that was for his birthday all mad, all this. But when the next song sh dropped, it got MMG on it. You ain't getting off, nigga. That's a fact. Okay? Megan Stallion wants to get on Rock Nation, want to get off her label that invested mad money into it first. Yeah, you ain't getting off right now. Complete your obligations. That's how it goes. Okay? Remember when Future was mad at Rocco? Blah, 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 blah. Complete your obligations. Artists always get mad at their label, bro. 